Someone just got arrested for making a Let's Play video. They got arrested for playing a video game and then uploading it onto YouTube. The guy's name that got arrested, he is a Japanese man. This happened in Japan. His name is Shinobu Yoshida. He's 53 years old and he was accused of violating copyright law by uploading video gameplay of the game called Steins Gate My Darling's Embrace, which I didn't know this thing existed. I've never even heard of it before. But apparently it's like a graphic novel sort of type of game. Anyways, he made a let's play of this game back in 2019 and now he is facing prison time. He's actually going to be put in jail for making the let's play of this game due to Japan's insanely weird copyright laws. Because he's been sentenced to two years in prison, suspended for five years, and a one million yen fine. And like this tweet says, this is the first time someone has been found guilty of copyright infringement by posting gameplay videos because technically every time someone does post a gameplay video a let's play video of them just playing a game in general that is copyright infringement but it's free publicity it's free marketing for the game so companies have never seen a reason it would be a pr disaster it would absolutely be shooting themselves in the foot and making themselves look stupid and they wouldn't be getting free advertising if they started copywriting and trying to lock up everybody who posted videos of their game it's just, it doesn't make sense. It's the smart move to let people make Let's Plays because it's good for them, it's good for you, it's good for everybody. It's like a human centipede. Everybody gets to eat, you know what I'm saying? But on top of him posting the Let's Play, if you go to this Japanese article here, uh, I tried to read it in Japanese because I've been trying to learn it, but on my level is nowhere near. I have a, less of an, a Japanese vocabulary than a newborn Japanese baby. So I had to translate it to English. But if you go down here, it says that in 2019, the defendant released three items, including a, a play video, which is a let's play, of spoilers, including the ending of the adventure game, Stan's Gate, Hiyoku Ren, Renni no Darin. And then he also released an edited video of the anime Spa Family from September to May of 2022. And he was in, indicted for infringing copyright by distributing it on YouTube without permission. And at the trial, the defendant Yoshida, he explained his motive by saying, as a part of my hobby, I wanted someone to see what I made. That's why anybody uploads anything on YouTube because it's a creator's paradise. It's for people to create. People do let's plays and edits of anime all the freaking time, you know? It's so commonplace and to see someone actually getting arrested is ridiculous. It is <laughs> jaw on the floor kinds of insanity. And then the prosecution argued that it is a malicious act that tramples on the efforts of content production. But they actually argued that it did the opposite and that it reduced the willingness to purchase legitimate products. Which I guess since I looked at this game and it is a graphic novel story, it's pretty much like you're playing a manga in a way. Because it's not actually a game in the sense of like running around, shooting, jumping, GTA kind of thing. It's a, it's like a story. It's a, it's a visual novel story mode game. Which I guess could be argued that he, he, like if someone already just watched him play it and seen the ending, they wouldn't have a, per a reason to purchase it. But still, things like that have happened before. Surely people have made videos on like visual novel games before and they've no never got in trouble like this man has. It feels like they're trying to make him the scapegoat, trying to make an example out of him, turn him into a punching bag to try to fear monger other people into not making let's play videos of their uh, other visual novel games which i think is stupid quite frankly but uh to continue in the article it says the defense attorney argued that the only that only the defendant's actions cannot be said to be particularly ma malicious and sought a suspended case so this is the first time that someone is gonna get locked up for two years Two full rotations around the sun. This dude is going to be in jail in Japanese prison for making a Let's Play video on a Steins Gate visual novel game called My Darling's Embrace, which kind of makes it even more embarrassing. He's going to be in the clink in the slammers in Davy Jones's locker, and they're going to be like, what are you in for? But they're going to say it in Japanese because they're in Japan. And he's going to be like, I played Steins Gate, my darling experience. And then the guy that asked him that question is going to be like, oh man, I, I'm only in here for murdering 12 people. <laughs> I'm going to keep my distance from you. You, whew, 
You're the top dog in this place. You're the alpha in this prison. I could never imagine making a Let's Play video on a video game. Gee, it's, whew. You're a rebel. You're pushing the boundaries for sure, man. Woo-wee. And overall, this is just a very scary representation, not only of how twisted Japan's copyright laws are and how terrible they seem to be and how they can literally get you put in prison for making a Let's Play, but also that the rest of the world, like the UK, the US, pretty much every other country in the world, could do the very same thing to people because the copyright laws would allow them to do that. But like I said, it wouldn't make sense for them to, but they very well could. It would be in their power to do that. And that's just a scary thought that you can make a Let's Play on an anime video game and then get <laughs> thrown in the jail with the, the, the worst that society has to offer. It's scary. It's very frightening. Very 1984, you know? Dystopian future kind of feeling. But let's just cross our fingers, cross our toes, cross our legs, cross everything that you can, even your eyes, and just hope that other gameplay, other game studios don't start enforcing this as well, because that would just be devastating to a lot of things. And it just wouldn't make sense. It really wouldn't make sense at the end of the day. But they very well could. It's in their power. The copyright laws would allow them to do it. But uh, with that thought in your head now, I guess I'll catch you in the next one.